Un Academy. Let's crack it. To actually have a vision and got to accept, uh, you know, your uh, challenges uh, where you know you feel that okay, I can't push myself any further. You know, it, it is it is all about you know sticking to your plans. It is all about uh, trusting yourself, yeah. and it is all about trying as much as you can. I mean, just when you number of times people give up yeah. thinking that okay that's the end whereas it is only a bend humility in your preparation and humility in knowing that you still have skills to learn being humble enough to keep improving you know i think that for me is real humility uh, being able to um, uh, be humble enough to accept that i've not learned anything i need to keep improving uh, and i need to keep getting better so so i think for me that's um that's where humility plays uh, a, a really really big part um yeah i mean i think uh, also not getting carried away by your success is is great and that's fine but but you know um uh, i think the most important part of humility for me is is the fact that being humble about um how much you actually need to learn uh, and and how consistent you need to be to be able to succeed you can't get uh, like i was saying earlier in my presentation you can't get carried away by success and depressed by failure but uh, you know being humble in the process ask questions learn from people i found that when i joined uh, the bangalore uh, challenges in 2008 and i was able to share a dressing room with rahul dravid anil kumble jocks callas mark boucher all these great players that i was able to learn i was captaining england at the time i captained the rcb franchise a young virat kohli was in our dressing room I was able to learn from all these people, learn from the guys that have achieved everything, but also learn from the people that have got that energy to get better. What are they doing? How are they getting better? Feed off people's energy. I think it's very normal to get distracted and diverted from your goals. Everybody has that at a very young age where you feel you are 16, 17 and you know it all and your parents and teachers don't make sense, but I think It's okay to get distracted. It's okay to get diverted, but it's important to realize that mistake and to come back on track. And the only reason you can do that when you have good friends, positive friends who put you in your place. And if you don't have that circle, if and if you don't talk to your friends, and if you're you get too much stuck into social friends, that's actually when you can lose your path. So I think it's really important to listen to your mates who you've grown up with and. Mm-hmm. own own the mistake that you've done be a be be a man to own that mistake come back come back to life and start again great joy the great benefit of being able to do what they love and do because able to do what he love he discover that very early in life if we allow ourselves to discover very early in life what we love but also what we are good at if i had said you know what i love i love being a gymnast but am i good enough at it So if you can find something early in life that you're good at that you love doing then you're very lucky. Tendulkar was very lucky that he did what he loved. Michael Jordan, Shane Warren, Raul Dravid, all these big names that 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 uh, I I saw growing up so many people now you look at them and you say you know what you must do what you love. Very few people have that option. So join a startup or create a startup if you can. And of course, even if you join a big company, try and be entrepreneurial within that company. Own your responsibility. Solve problems. That's the way we will make our country great.